and the cloth bow attracted the wrath of Romans. This was in 1985. Then one of the people comes to me and says and tells us that quietly and timidly that I say there is a radio announcement that you must report to the Numa police station. Those were the PNDC days. So we quickly left the funeral and came back to Accra. And then he, he came home here, took his uh, sponge, towel, toothpaste, and brush, because he knew what it was about, <laughs> and went to the Numa police station. He didn't come back for six months. He was locked up in the Tamale uh, uh, prisons, the jail. And that was the beginning of a series of detentions, crawlings, put up to one part through. Pass and baby hat ya Wahine Ba media open news super pa a wahine ba media and somewhere cross one wahine ba media as em papa wa ho wahine ba media as em kasi b s ye wahine ba media wahine ba media and sem pa wom woi wahine ba media and sem pa wom wo be a mit I want to thank the choir here they give very very beautiful music I would drop out love music we used to spend time in clubs just listening to music. I could talk about love just so much that he traveled with Professor Jima Bwadi, Nana Amo, and Adipo Ama, and others to New Orleans in the US just to savor the origins of jazz there. I could talk about was a footballer. He loved football. He loved football so, he took so much so that. When I met him, one of the first things we did when the Ghana League was the league, we used to go to the stadium with people like Champas and others just to watch football games. In 2008, Abu and I traveled to Second League by road towards Senegal and Cameroon, I think. And then in 2010, we traveled to South Africa to watch the World Cup. I mean, that's the kind of person. We can say all those things about him. His intellect is difficult to talk about his intellect. I heard his colleague at the at the university at the gymnast talking about his intellect. I am a teacher. Sometimes I wonder why he didn't become a teacher. For the simple reason that Akutwango has the patience to explain and teach you about something that he can teach you about. He had the patience. He really got angry, even though many things pissed him off. I would talk about, it's difficult to talk about him, <clears throat> politics. Many people do not know about talk about politics. People are saying he was MPP, blah, blah, blah. No, he wasn't a member of the MPP. He stood for election in his area on the ticket of the CPP in 1992. But even though he didn't belong to any of the parties going on now, the leaders, many of the important leaders in these two big parties respected him and had some relations with him. Professor Akamils respected Akutwangwa very, very much. The Kufuadu, of course and so on and so forth. But Akutwapa's real political work in this country was in the formation and the activity of what we call the New Democratic Movement. Many of, there are many of the members here, my sister Tejua, Professor Tejua Menwe and others, formed this opposition of Black Masoya, Chakichikata, Fuechikata, Kusipoti, and so on and so forth. And because of this, Akutwapa attracted the wrath of Romans. One day, we traveled to Kumasi, I'm talking about and I traveled to Kumasi to the funeral of a man called a champion who belonged to one of those groups, I'm in Kuma Brigades or something like that. We were at the funeral, they were keeping like this in Kumasi. This was in 1985, six. We sat on a, on a bench like this, and everybody was moving away from us. This was during the PMDC days. 
everybody was moving away from us. We didn't pay attention to what was going on until suddenly she, she drew my attention. Family, why is everybody running away from us? I said, well, maybe there are mosquitoes here and we don't feed the mosquitoes. The, then one of the people comes to me and she, she and tells us that quietly and timidly that she, there is a radio announcement that you must report to the Numa police station. Those were the PNDC days. So we quickly left the funeral and came back to Accra. And then he, he came home here, took his uh, sponge, towel, toothpaste, and brush, because he knew what it was about, <laughs> and went to the Numa police station. He didn't come back for six months. He was locked up in the Tamale uh, the prisons detained. And that was the beginning of a series of detentions, crawlings, put up to one pound through. The last and big one was in May 1987, when myself, I put one pound in the book, I could see Prati, Graham, the Guaman, Rao Kupi, and so on and so forth. About nine or 13 of us were railroaded in different places. I put one pound spent nearly two years in. Um, no, in uh, uh, James Fox here in Accra, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, Grandma Kwan, seven, almost two years, myself, Asha Ford, Echo Forigla, 17 months, and so on and so forth. Yet, Akutuamba was never ruffled by this in terms of his commitment to democracy. When we came back from detention, we see Pratt in the movie approached Sheshi. They came to this house and said that. And all of these people have been in detention for a while. Kusi Pratt had been in. In fact, the prison in those days was Kusi Pratt's house. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kusi Pratt and the Ukraine approached Sheshi and said that we must do something to bring back constitutional rule. So, between them and Sheshi, they agreed to go and see Professor Edouard. So she came to my house. At that time, I lived on the Leblon campus. I said, this is the proposal, Pratt, and the Deputy So we went to uh, Professor Dubai. And that's how everybody and she became friends till the last days of uh, Professor Dubai. So she is going into good company wherever he's going, apart from his, his uh, parents and his sisters and so on, he's going into good company and we must be proud that he's going into good company. Jesus intellect. But socially, in all of these 15 years, and Madame Gloria Kufo here, the former Attorney General, will testify. If you have a social, political, whatever problem, and you got Shishi, to discuss it with you. If Sheshe doesn't help you find a solution, say that that problem is not worth solving. Because this is a man whose wisdom idea was about mine. He will help you, he will help you dissect a problem. He has such a, a critical mind, a mind that was like a, a hot blade in butter. There's no contradiction that the could not help you unravel. And that is why he was attracted to so many good people. So many. I hear, I'm not a lawyer, but I hear that there are some judges on the bench who respected him a lot. And so, uh, again, we can put on to take all. We will, we will keep mem the memory of Abutuamba until also we all join him. What I want to end by saying is that he lived a very good life, a life that we must be proud of. We mourn him not because we are sad, but because we are missing him here. That's why we mourn him. We mourn him because we are missing him here. Because if he was here, many of our troubles would be less difficult to deal with. We've missed somebody that this country, I believe strongly, has missed.
we miss somebody. I was in Ouagadougou when I heard that uh, he, uh, he had passed. And because of the work he did with the Media Foundation, it pressed freedom. The meeting I went, the people from South Africa, I announced it at this forum and everybody, the Bukinabes, the Rwandese, people from all over this continent, Senegal, Gambia, people whose, who he defended at the ECOWAS court were also sad and wished all of us well. So, um, brothers and sisters, we mourn and we trample because we miss him. Then all of us will go that path. Nobody knows who will go first. But when it happens, let us remember the good days that we had with such an honorable brother, friend, and comrade. A courageous man, a man of truth, a man who did not shout the truth, and who would always eyeball to eyeball tell you like it is. And this is the problem that some of us live with, work with, fought with, suffered with, and will join one day or another. Thank you very much. Pass and Pabi Hatia, Wahineba Media, Open News, Papa, Aye, Wahineba Media, and somewhere across one, Wahineba Media, Asam Papa Waho, Wahineba Media, Asam Cassia BS, Wahineba Media, Wahineba Media, Sam Power Moy, Wahineba Media, Sam Power Moy, will be a Messiah.